mask that has had the hair fooled with by a buddy of mine, Jeremy Walker. He's an admin on one of the Michael Myers groups I'm in. And as you can see, the hair may look a little bit familiar to some of you diehard Myers fans. I mauled the hair after the H2O mask to look like the Jean-Claude Beekler mask that he made for H2's opening scene. And I really am proud of how I styled the hair for this. The hair was pulled with to be more moldable by Jeremy Walker because I noticed that on a few of my other H6s, this the hair on this was a lot more moldable out of the box. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And I kind of like how the weathering looks because if you ever get like a good uh, still of the Beekler mask from the opening scene of H2O, the weathering kind of looks similar to this. And this hair looks pretty good with this mask, the H2O hair. For comparison, this is my rehauled H2O mask. And as you can see, I tried to make the hair look almost damn near identical. I'm pretty happy with this mask, and if I was going to dress up in a pair of coveralls and kill people with a chef knife, I'd wear this mask. I'm not ashamed to admit it, but if you enjoy seeing people get killed by Michael Myers, you gotta be a little messed up. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get that on. So I'm gonna try this on, see how it looks. The inside of it smells pretty good. It smells a little bit like hair gel, actually. <laughs> but it's pretty much one of my favorite masks already. I might add some Velcro in the back for easy closure so it'll fit my face better in the future. But, yeah, I am already in love with this mask. It's actually one of the first things I see when I open the door to my room. And I really do love looking at it. But yeah, this is a love letter to John Carl Beekler and the mask that should have been used in H2O throughout the film. See ya.